Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya here at Telecom Exchange Los Angeles with my good friend, Dr. Julie Albright. She is the digital sociologist, author of an amazing book, we'll get to that in a second, TED Talk speaker, and I Mason's member, uh, board member, I should say. Uh, so um, if you don't know Julie, I'm sure, actually, most of you probably should. You should if you haven't. Uh, but we are so excited that you are here. She just was our keynote today here at Telecom Exchange LA. We've been uh, having a fabulous time exploring um, sort of excerpts, if you will, from your book called Left to Their Own Devices, How Digital Natives Are Reshaping the American Dream. Fabulous book. And um, so let's start with, I know there's like so much, but how has technology changed our pursuit of happiness in the American dream? Right. Well, in the book I look at how people used to chase that, what you call the American dream. The idea that you're going to grow up uh, and get married, buy a home, have children, buy a car and have 2.5 kids. You know, many people went to church, they joined a political party, they joined local clubs like the Rotary, you know, all these sorts of things. And all that's changing now. Um, you know, for example, you look at older people that went through World War II, about 65% of them or more were married by the time they were 32 years old. And now it's only about 25%. So, it, it, I mean, it's a market change. And, and these changes go through, you know, everything from getting your driver's license to car ownership to home ownership. So it's really shifting around values and behaviors. and. Uh, you know, frankly, there's a lot of uh, companies that are sort of scrambling to, to figure out these changes, to figure out where to position themselves uh, going forward. And so um, this digital generation, these, these um, uh, millennials uh, and, and others who are, who are being raised with uh, the Internet just always available, um, they're becoming detached, untethered is, is the word you use in your book. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, so this idea that the young people are unhooking from these traditional stabilizing, we could say, social structures and are hyper attached to digital technologies. So a lot of their validation of self, uh, their identity and whatnot becomes uh, reinforced by social media likes and shares and comments and all that so they become very externally driven around that kind of thing so it's it's really a change young people are always concerned about and tuned into how they fit in and how others are taking them but this really amplifies that to a global scale and the pressure on them is enormous and so speaking generally are they happy well, we see now, at least I'm in the university, uh, we see the highest rates in 30 years of things like anxiety, depression, and suicides. And so I, I view this also physical illnesses like obesity, for example. And I view this as a, a sort of um, a public health crisis issue where, you know, we just, and I'm not about throwing phones away at all or not being on social media or any of it, but it's just we need to be a little more conscious and I think sort of recalibrate our relationship between ourselves, each other, our bodies, nature, uh, and our devices. And so how are we as business owners and uh, leaders, how are we able to incentivize and, and keep this younger generation in our workforce? Right. So I think, you know, some of the things that uh, the workplace can do is really provide an anchor place for young people. They're not getting it from a marriage. They're often not getting it from a community because they're moving place to place. They're, they're not getting it from the church by and large. And so where are they finding this anchor spot? And a lot of them don't have friends now too, by the way. So the idea that, you know, maybe the workplace is a place where you could do team building around a nature event or around some kind of philanthropy or something where you're part of something bigger than yourselves and, and building those connections and also offering support and wellness type of things. You know, maybe it's a different way of thinking about what business is about. But as I mentioned today, if you've got employees melting down that's not good for anybody and it's expensive to replace these employees so let's maybe rethink the perks and, and rethink you know what business is and can be for young people that need an anchor point in the world to stabilize themselves yeah. and uh, work remotely uh, offer offer child care if they need it mm -hmm. yeah so one of the things we were talking about was uh, you know there's more um, unmarried people 
and thus more children born to unwed mothers, you could say. And so over the course of time, if you want to attract females, maybe childcare is the thing to offer. So, you know, this this sort of out-of-the-box thinking in a way where you're looking at the demographic and behavioral shifts and saying, how do we sort of adjust ourselves to this new, new value set, new behavior set coming in amongst young untethered adults is what I call them. Yeah, yeah. And your recent TED Talk, uh, of course, uh, I highly recommend it. It's on YouTube. You had just done it this summer, right? So yes. it's, it's really one of the, the newest TED Talks out there. Um, but you, you finished your interview with this big question, how can we be happier? How can we reconnect? So can we pick up from there? Any tips? Yeah, so, you know, somehow, you know, I, I started out talking in that TED Talk about how, you know, everyone has this, you know, right to pursue happiness, and somehow we just fell off the track, fell off the road, and so how can we sort of get back on the road, and we're not going to do that isolated in a room, we're going to do that together, we're social creatures, and we need to sort of have a balance between that time alone with a device and the time with each other, and find moments for that in our lives. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Julie Albright. And folks, please note her book, Left to Their Own Devices, How Digital Natives Are Reshaping the American Dream, a must-read, now available on Amazon. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.